Everybody and welcome to another Minecraft command block tutorial where today I'm actually going to be showing you guys how I did my little item generator. A lot of you guys thought it was a diamond generator and it was not a diamond generator. It's an item generator where you can have uh, it summon any item, any block, technically anything that you guys want it to be able to summon just to kind of, I guess, replicate that it's a mob spawner. So, um, I know some people, and I even made an a ore generator, like a diamond and, and gold and all them uh, ore generators, like a year ago. And they still work today. That's how most people still do them. Uh, but I wasn't talking about an ore generator. I'm talking about an item generator. And this does it to where it's really cool. You can have it make it look like it's coming from a spawner or have it make it look like it's coming from uh, some really cool mystical uh, thing. Uh, but yeah. Um, with that being said, I'm going to show you guys a quick glimpse of the actual person who did it really close to how I probably would have done it. Um, two, there's two ways. Like I said, uh, this one is the person that I'm about to show you. Um, you guys can check out his YouTube. Everything will be in the description. You guys can check him out. He's a great command block creation uh, creator. Uh, but yeah, so let me go ahead and just show you guys that real quick. And then I'll be back to show you guys how I did it. All right, everybody, and I am back. So hopefully you guys uh, like and subscribe to them. They're an awesome command block creator. So yeah, this is how I did mine. I went ahead and turned off the commands and uh, kind of like let you kind of see what's going on. So if we run close over here uh, near the spawner, you can actually see that it's very similar to theirs, but mine's a little bit different. I use bats and uh, one spawner that's called, or one uh, armor stand that's called spawner. Uh, and then now these actually are giving off particle effects or the fireworks uh, whenever an item actually falls so when an item falls from the bat uh, it then will spawn the item and then the fireworks so it's like kind of cool I, I don't know and then when you put it all invisible it gives that really awesome effects but that is how that is pretty much everything that is going on right there uh, these bats cannot leave as you guys if I fly back they are always gonna be teleported back uh, the reason for that is the command is right here uh, let me go ahead and get down here and this is the command for that it's going to teleport ie type equals bat r equals seven rm equals six and uh three blocks above so uh relative accordance uh so basically whenever a bat is about six blocks so from one two three four five six right here they'll end up spawning back over there so teleporting and since they will randomly fly around well of course they're gonna go back <laughs> and it's just a matter of time uh, but that's how you guys do that which is pretty cool so I like the way that that works and then whenever they live in let me go to this one uh, it's just a clone so this clone is cloning that one and then this one over here is testing for the armor stand that's looking at 22 y uh, RYM and negative 22 so uh, whenever that happens it'll dispense one of these items like I was telling you it's a dropper so technically you can have every single item in the game including a spawn egg so if you wanted to you could have spawn eggs in there so it's just a random spawner so it's pretty cool um, uh, over here is uh, these commands for uh, this one is the main one it's going to be executing at all execute at a or at e name equals spawner within a 10 block radius uh, tp at e name equals spawner to a random bat count of one so basically whenever a player is within 10 blocks of the uh, armor stand that's named spawner it will teleport randomly to a bat and only one bat so it's going to constantly just bounce this one 
Uh, the reason I did that is because so that way it's not always going off and then you could AFK so technically it's not going to do it until I get closer within 10 blocks and it'll start to actually activate. And then whenever that activates it will then activate this so technically uh, nothing's activating except for the bats are just flying around until you actually get close. Uh, then this one is uh, effect at bat uh, resistance so that you can't actually punch the bats when they're you know are flying around and you accidentally are just getting impatient or whatever so you don't kill them. Uh, and then this one is giving the bats invisibility. Uh, this one is giving the bats slowness so that they're not super stupid crazy like that, how they are right now. Uh, because if you put it on slowness 3, which is actually what they need to be flying at, uh, like so, they will actually fly a lot slower. And then it has a more chance, like a better chance of dropping in a whole bunch of different areas rather than going super fast. Um, now this one right here is going to be doing execute at e name equals spawner execute at p within 10 blocks effect at p with zero speed so it's just basically going to test um when a player is uh within 10 blocks of the armor stand named spawner uh whenever that is happening nothing will happen except for it'll activate this armor stand which will then spin it at a rate of three which is named timer uh, to just spin around in a circle, teleport, and spin him. And whenever he's looking in this direction, right here, it will then uh, test for when that armor stands looking in that direction, which will then activate that one because it's doing the same thing. Uh, this one will actually teleport the item within 10 block radius, so uh, all the ones that go out of the dropper, they will teleport to uh, spawn, or the spawner armor stand over there. And then this one is just uh, execute IE and uh, summoning a firework rocket at the bat. So whenever an item was in within one R of a bat, uh, it will summon a firework. So whenever that happens, it'll summon a firework. So that's what gives the cool effects. And yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. If you did enjoy this video, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm Jacom Black Rose, and I'm out. Told me when I was young Don't play with fire, be careful, son But we were flames and fell in